world mm. because maybe I've, I've cussed or maybe I talk about my, I'm very open with I'm not I'm not I'm celibate right now but I ain't always been celibate mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I, I've had sex numerous mm-hmm. times with numerous people before marriage right mm-hmm. I talk about my experiences I yeah. talk about my journey and it always isn't aesthetically pleasing yeah. to a judgmental Christian, honestly, because that's what that's what I feel like I deal yeah. with on a day to day basis because you are so open with your faith mm-hmm. on social media. Do you have people that are like, well, if you believe in God, how are you doing this oh, or sure. why are you doing this or how do you c- combat that? If you do, maybe you don't. Mm-hmm. But what is what is your take on that and how do you address it? God views sin as a condition, right? And what 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 matters is how God views us. Okay. Not how mm-hmm. the person on mm-hmm. the internet who mm-hmm. has their sins of their own mm-hmm. is willing to cast their judgment across mm-hmm. us. But God views sin as a condition because He sent His only Son here to, to bear the sacrifice for Come our on. sins already. Come on. Our sins have already been paid for and full. Come on. Balance cleared. Come on. We're done with it. That's wow, it. Wow, wow, wow. And so anything that we accumulate for ourselves is for ourselves. And I don't I can't. I cannot be judged by anyone. Let he without sin cast the first stone. There's somebody on your page right now telling you because you engaged in sex before marriage, you da 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 da. What about what you did? What are you doing? Except I'm not here to point the finger at yeah. you the same way you're not here to point the finger at me. Yeah. God knew exactly who I was wow, before wow, you wow. formed me in the womb. Wow. And that's biblical. That's wow. in the text. He knew who we were before we were formed in the womb. I have no explaining to do with you, to you, about my what I do in my raps, how I carry myself, wow. who I deal with, whatever. Wow. I am righteous by position, not by wow. practice. This is my natural. This is my posture. This is my wow. poise. I am who I am because God told me who I am, not because you told mm, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you think? Mm, it's a it's a true it's a mix of truth and yeah, arro- yeah. and arrogance. Um, you right, you are righteous by position, not by yeah. deed. But that doesn't mean you're not supposed to be held accountable for your actions as a believer. Yeah. Um, I think this generation, probably a lot of generations, have accountability and judgment confused. And I think that may be a, about how you approach someone. No, I shouldn't approach you hatefully and slandering you and talking down at you because mm-hmm. like, yeah, we all have seen mm-hmm. the fall short of the glory of God. But even if I come to you in love, like, hey, sis, that ain't the move right there. I don't know if you want to do that. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or whatnot, but right, right, saying right. that on your song might not be the best look for a woman who says they believe in God. If you can't walk away from that and say, okay, I, 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 I'll listen to what you, I'll, I'll take that consideration at least. If you like, no, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm righteous by position. I'm going to do what God told me. To. <laughs> if you walk away yeah. feeling like can't nobody tell you nothing, you're in a real dangerous place. Yeah. Um, and I think, you just go back to the theme like we've been saying, people want to operate independently of God until they need God. Like even the atheists, like when the atheists, I saw a video when the atheist, some lightning struck or did something, the first night he called, oh my God. Like, why are you calling mm. on somebody you don't believe in? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So like we all want to be independent until we need God for real, you know? And, yeah. Um, yeah. Like I said, it is dangerous. She, she had a lot of good stuff she said in there, but you know, rat poison is 99% food and 1% poison. Mm-hmm. Yeah You know yeah. what I'm saying So that one little bit of poison Enough to send somebody On the wrong direction mm. Yeah the thing that threw me Was my position Versus my practice mm. You know what I'm saying Like We're supposed to be Living The Christian lifestyle We're supposed to be Living out our walk And not Practicing our walk I'm there I never say I'm a practicing Christian You know what I'm saying um, Practice Yeah practice <laughs> um, But I But I But I She was right when she said um, You know By position Because I mean you know, Abraham knew God and God um, attributed to him as righteous. Um, and so I feel like, yeah, there's there's this um, there's a, like you said, there's a mix like right and wrong and um, and, and probably a little bit of. Um, yeah, I guess I guess you would call it arrogance. I would say I would say mm, one of the comments she made. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I would say that. I mean, like she was saying, like. I'm not here you know, Like he who is without sin Let him cast the first stone She's like You're saying you're saying something in my DMs But I'm saying something back to you And that's like I don't know if you really You don't know that person You don't know that person intimately So you don't necessarily know What they're going through Or what they've done But then they're commenting on you Because they've seen what you've done Or they're mm-hmm. talking to you About what you've done So it's just that That didn't make sense to me mm-hmm. Man she, she was She was almost right man Almost Almost there um, I think it, as it pertains to your past 
uh, everything was was spot on. It's like nobody can hold your past against you and mm-hmm. say that you know you're not worthy of whatever, whatever, because you used to do this or used to do that. Mm-hmm. Where uh, where she went wrong? What's the guest? What's her name? London, some lady, lady London, London. London. Yeah. Where she started sounding like she was going wrong was her current mm-hmm. issues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas like, don't tell me nothing, and she was basing it off of this idea that. Um, Jesus died for your sins Past, present, future So you're covered by the blood No matter what mm-hmm. That is true But um, th- This is all in Romans I think people really need to study, study, study Romans If you find yourself continuing to sin mm-hmm. And you're claiming it's you're covered by the blood there's some really strong warnings that say You may not be in a yeah, yeah, yeah. You may not be really a Christian yeah. Because Oof. Yes, Jesus Jesus died for your all of your sins. When you mm-hmm. accepted Jesus Christ, he covered you from beginning to end. <laughs> However, a Christian, somebody who has really been born again, mm-hmm. would never want to continue to keep sinning right. just banking off of the fact that he saved you already. Mm-hmm. Why would you if if I if if you get married to somebody, you wouldn't I mean, hopefully, you wouldn't <laughs> keep <laughs> cheating on them yeah. right. and being like, "Well, you said better for worse." <laughs> Yeah. That's not Then you're not yeah. really Supposed to be married To exactly. that person right exactly. So it's the same attitude Of why, why If you really love mm-hmm. Jesus Why would you Kind of Just yeah. be like Well I could do What I want right. to do right. So it's, yeah. it's To me if you If you find yourself With that attitude You really need to go back And do the first part again yeah. Because Yes You are saved by grace It's not by works But what the, the reason why there's a book into that statement, it's not by works, it's by faith. But if you don't have any works, you probably don't have any faith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why the, the, the Peter and, 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 and Paul thing is their bookends. Yeah. So you don't go too far this way, you don't go too far that way. Yeah. Right? yeah. You're, you're, it should be evident that you've already been saved. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think yeah. that there's some confusion there. Yeah. So I don't know anything about Lady London. I haven't seen her any of her stuff, but it sounds like she's saying, you see me wearing some skimpy clothes, you see me cussing and doing such and such, hey, leave me alone, I'm safe. I'm right yeah. in my position. And it's like, that's not really how this works. There should be a, a ongoing desire yeah. to be closer to God. Why is B. Simone running? <laughs> running from what? what do you like, think like, from? I feel like she's, like, I feel like she knows what she wanted. I think she knows that God is calling her to a higher standard of living. Yeah. But she's like, I want to do both. But like, honestly, I wanna, Mm. What she was saying in this clip didn't sound wrong to me. Yeah. It sounded like what the other girl she started veering into wrong. And I don't yeah. know, I didn't see the rest no, of it. No, but I'm I'm saying running meaning like I think deep down she knows if I'm gonna live this if she knows that it costs to be a Christian. Yeah. I be Simone, I'm talking about be Simone. Mm. I feel like she knows that. I think she knows like if I really really live this out, I can't do what I want to do. It sounds like she's I, honestly just my just my take again. I only saw a little piece. Yeah, it sounds to me that she is speaking from the perspective of somebody who is wants to be that way. Yeah, yeah. I think she's strategically in place. I think she's gonna be able to reach an audience that a lot of people are not gonna be able to reach. She can reach like a lady in London, like somebody who just strictly yeah. over here. Would, we might not be able to have access to lady in London like yeah. she does yeah. or whoever yeah. else. So I think she's in a real. She could be in a real sweet spot to reach a lot of people and plant some seeds right there. But I, mean, I know it's a battle too Because you got a bag yeah. You know what I'm saying That yeah. comes along With certain yeah. kind of material too So yeah. we just got to pray for her man And pray that she's able to stand In the midst of whatever she's going through And yeah. I, th- I think I think what's important to understand Is yes it do- Randos on the internet Telling you This is how you should be a Christian That's how you should be a Christian Is not super valuable But there should be people In your life That have the ability to say What are you doing this for Yeah mm-hmm. If you don't have anybody around you Like that you yeah. trust that could say, why are you doing that? Yeah. What are you doing that for? Why yeah. are you wearing that? What, what's the yeah. real reason? Then I, what, what do you, you should have somebody. It, it should be a mentor or a peer or somebody yeah. that should be able to say, mm-hmm. that don't look right mm-hmm. unless your motivations have changed. Yeah. If your motivations to be successful or famous or have money. Yeah. Sounds like you're kind of prioritizing that over the faith. Being completely yeah. turned over to God. Yeah. If that's the case, just let me know. But the funny part, going back to mm. the whole the entire clip, Lady London was like, "I don't listen to them because they judge." But if you talk bad about my music, then I'm in them comments. And I was like, "Yeah, what? It's, it's about me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you can talk bad about God, but you talk bad about me. I got a problem. Yeah, <laughs> we we idolize ourselves. We idolize yeah. platform. We idolize yeah. clout." 
anything that puts me in a position to be looked at is like, oh man, she's so great. I want to hold on to that. I want that feeling. I want that feeling of praise and worship that God should be getting. And people don't want to give that up. That's why people have such a battle between a platform and really just fully submitting to God for real. One of the reasons why we keep harping on this mm -hmm. is, you know, me, Ryan, and Jeremiah, um, we've been doing track stars for 18 years and we've seen so many artists that have this vision to, you know, be a godly artist. They, they rise up, mm -hmm. they start tasting a little bit of success, and then it starts going like this. Yeah. And it's like, anyway. man, from the jump, if you if you have some sort of desire to glorify God on this big stage, yep. you have to constantly be checking your heart. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Yeah. Is it for me? Is it for me? Do I really just want to be rich? Is, do I really just want to be famous? Because I've, we've seen too many people just veer off <laughs> as soon yeah. as a taste of fame yeah. comes their way. As yeah. soon as a little bit of money, they over here now. Yeah. <laughs> that We harp on it because we know so many of you guys are creative. You guys are so talented. You guys have such mm -hmm. awesome visions and purposes yeah. that we really want to make sure that we're, we're, we're holding you guys accountable. You guys are holding us accountable that if yeah. you see something weird, it's like, hold on, guys. You said yeah, you real. were doing this. Right. Right. Now it feels like you guys are doing this. Yeah. There should be some accountability that where you have a group of people that you trust that can do that. We do that yeah. for each other. Mm -hmm. When you know, we they, we see each other saying something a little funny, we're we're not afraid to say that don't sound right. Yeah, yeah. and you should have people yeah. that can do that to you. Yeah. And, and also, when and for artists, once you get in this industry, you're going to see all types of worldviews. You're going to see people who say I'm a Christian, and they're going to do something else that contradicts them being a Christian. You're going to mm -hmm. see somebody say I'm a God. You're going to see somebody say, you know, um, the plant is God. You need to hug plants. You need to <laughs> love on plants. You need to love the world, love nature. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get all types of worldviews because even as she was, as she talked about that, Lady London talked about that. Um, I went and seen what one of her projects, and one of her projects is based off of, um, 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 not New Ageism, but it's really based off of. Um, Signs like what's your mm, sign, no. and she does a song for each sign and yeah. different things. So it's just like, you know what? You know what? Also, mm. is deflating, and I think a lot of people are running into when you see people who are Christians in the entertainment industry, and you look up to them, and you find out that they not really that different than worldly people. So I'm kind of calling mm. y'all out a little bit. Yeah, it's a really discouraging to know that there's people <laughs> yeah. who are. Looked at as kind of like big deals, and and they're the Christian pastors and and industry leaders and such and such, and you secretly behind the scenes have a totally different life that some people get to see every now and then. Wow. It makes it seem yeah. like all of us are faking this. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and it's really hard to overcome that because when people encounter yeah. that, it makes them think, oh, I guess. I mean, I've seen this in real life. Mm -hmm. When people encounter, oh, this person is fake all this time. Mm -hmm. You can you can say those powerful things and be fake. Wow. It makes yeah. them think they have to be fake. Yeah, mm -hmm. it makes yeah. them feel like the highest it, you can yeah. aspire to is in your relationship with God is to just look like you godly. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a lot of people fall to that and, and mm -hmm. gone through a lot of yeah. you know coming back to God to realize mm -hmm. that there are people out here that really, really believe. That really, really are following this thing, and they're not fake. So there's just, just if you're yeah. out there and you have some sort of like clout, and you're not really legit, like you're hurting a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and a lot of people like this will be like, "Oh, you expect me to be godly, and you, you looking up to that dude over there?" It, 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 it's really <laughs> damaging. Yeah, it's really damaging. It is. But when I, that happens, but the, 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 the funny thing is, then you become judgmental when you actually living it out, and you calling yeah. stuff out. Yeah. Cause you look judgmental because everybody, everybody else like, we all faking this. You, you talking about you? Really, you, that, think, you, really yeah. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like, like if, if everybody's faking and somebody really living this, they are gonna look at that person as the person that's the judgmental person. Like you really, really, you really trying to be celibate? I'm, you really I, trying to? You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> the one, the one thing I look for, the only thing I look for in people is. No, no matter where they are as far as they're full blown sinning or not sinning yeah. at all is where who do you want to be you know what yeah. I mean mm -hmm. and yeah. I think there's a lot of people who have decided that their career as a Christian person is more important than yeah, their faith. actual wow. walk with wow. God so they've decided wow. already that I'm just gonna be this person over here but I have to front like I'm this other person in front of the Scary. that is really yeah, damaging yeah. guys like it's, it, it's, it's really hurtful because the whispers go around People hear mm -hmm. about yeah. You're not really Who you say you are And then It puts in people's minds That are grown up That look up to us yep. Yeah They're like Oh this is not real mm -hmm. Yeah and then The thing I worry about Is like my kids Right 
I want to expose my kids to things that, that are on the level of, of what I believe is, you know, decent and proper. And then when I learn it, I'm like, oh, man, like I can't it's even do this. Smoke and, and mirrors. Yeah, like I can't even yeah. um, let them hear this or, you know, let them like this artist. I, honestly, I would, I would rather this whole thing fail, including all y'all Christian hip hop artists, all y'all pastors. I, I, would, I would rather it fail. Jesus, show. No, I'm, yeah. I'm dead serious. Yeah, I would real. rather it all fail. Take the mics out right now. <laughs> then, no, <laughs> we've been doing this for a long time. Uh, we have proof that we, we're okay with the film. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather this whole thing fail than for people to just and this was always my fear when we started yeah. doing track stars and stuff I was more afraid of success for all of us than I was, I was of failure oh wow because yeah. I know what comes with success yeah, yeah and sure. people start to yeah, yeah. they forget the reason why they started and then they start to protect the things that they've gained yeah you know mm. what I mean and I, I'm always really really scared that we're gonna get to a place where Christian hip hop or Christian pastors or Christian radio or whatever that we get to a place where we've done well enough that losing it hurts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and when yeah. that when that happens, you start to make bad decisions to keep the stuff you've gained. Yeah. 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 And I, I I promise you, I I would rather fail than to get to that point. That's yeah. Real. I agree. That's real. I agree. Yeah, that's real. <clears throat> 